Hi friends, um, welcome back. Nice to meet you again. Well, uh, thank you so much for your support. Uh, last video reached uh, 25 plus uh, views. Well, what I noticed is that many are not subscribing and watching. So I request all of you to kindly uh, subscribe and watch the videos. Uh, well, um, uh, once again, thanks uh, uh, everybody who, especially my uh, subscribers. Uh, so each subscribers will be considered as the encouragement to do more videos. Um, well, um, uh, this series we are discussing about, uh, you know, is the Bible historically accurate? Well, we discuss about uh, uh, Egypt, Assyria, Babylon, Mesopotamia. Well, in this video, we are going to see more information about Greece. Well, how real Greece is what bible is talking about uh, what the what are the site uh, you can see in the bible from greece so many interesting information is waiting for you let's get into the video welcome everybody First, we will see the Greece, um, you know, from a few images, real places, um, you know, uh, archaeology findings. So, let's get into that video. Enjoy a uh, trip to Greece, explore more about Greece.
Well, friends, and now we'll see the, some biblical sites uh, in Greece. So first one is Athens. Well, Athens, uh, as you see this picture, uh, you know the, uh, that is a mass hill where the Apostle Paul delivered the Arab pagan sermon. Uh, so Apostle Paul visited the historical uh, city of Athens. Actually, uh, same city uh, philosopher like Socrates also lived. Um, well, next place is Thessalonica. Thessalonica is the second largest uh, city in Greece. Uh, well, see this picture which you are seeing is the Vladan Monastery in the Thessalonica which is associated with the Jason's house as mentioned in Acts 17.5. Next place is Corinth. A port trade in Corinth. See the picture you are seeing is the Bema of Apostle Paul in Corinth, Greece. Well, next place, Philippi from Greece. Paul landed in at uh, Kaval and visited Philippi in 1480. Uh, okay, and so he began his mission in Europe. Well, next place I want to show you is Patmos. Uh, see, the picture you're seeing is the entrance of the cave of Apocalypse in Patmos. Well, the island of the Aquarius is the place of reference for all Christians today, and known as the Jerusalem of the Aegean. Uh, well, next place is Kavala or uh, Neapolis. Well, this is supposed Paul received uh, 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 the vision uh, at uh, Travos, his uh, journey to Kavala. Uh, um, well. Uh, then uh, see where you can find it uh, Acts 20, chapter 20 verse 6 next place I want to see you show you is Veria see uh, well Veria uh, you can find it uh, Acts chapter 17 1 to 13 uh, so Paul preached in Veria on two occasions um, interesting right so next place is known as Heraclean fair heavens it means fair heavens so Paul visited the area of fair heavens as he was uh, being transported from uh, Caesarea to Rome uh, as a Roman prisoner so Apostle Paul cave you can see in uh, Hera Creon well uh, next place is Amphipolis a town in Macedonia situated on the eastern bank of uh, Strimon modern Stromo or Karasu, some three miles from its uh, mouth near point where the flows of Lake, Lake Persian, uh, Presias or Cerknix. Well, what you see here is rem remains of a Via Ignatia where Paul passed on his way to Thessalonica. And next place is Apollo Unia. A town in Macedonia, a district in Macedonia. Well, Apostle Paul Bema in Apollonia. You can see that. This is a picture. Next place is Nicopolis, uh, which is Paul urges Titus to come. Is a city that named situated in southwest promontory of Epirus. Well, you are seeing Basilica A in the ancient city of Nicopolis. Basilica A was founded by Bishop Docu Matthews and is uh, decorated with, uh, with uh, elaborate mosaics combining floral and pictorial motifs. Motifs. Right. Next place is Roots. Well, um, Rhodes is a celebrated island in Mediterranean Sea. Well, we have no, uh, noticed Rhodes, uh, you know, uh, um, and once, uh, refer one reference you can see about this place in Acts chapter 21 verse 1. Um, uh, well, Old Testament also you can find this place uh, where it is a Ezekiel 20, uh, chapter 27 verse 15. So, according to the local tradition, Port ship landed in small harbor 
at a lindus which is known as today's St. Paul's Harbour. Okay, so that's what you see in this picture. Uh, next place is uh, Samo Thrace, uh, it's an island uh, in the Aegean Sea. Uh, well, um, uh, this island is mentioned in Acts chapter 16, 11, verse 11. Uh, Paul made a straight run into Samothrace and the next day sailed to a Neapolis which he uh, in Thracian's coast. Well, in, in Acts 26 also, on the return journey, a landing may have been made. Uh, no details are given, but uh, see this picture, you see monument uh, in favor of Apostle Paul in Samothrace. Next place is Kos, the island of the coast carrier. Uh, well, um, uh, see this is uh, in this, this place Paul's third missionary journey in Acts chapter 21-1 in relation with the Jews. Uh, well, see this is the tree of Eco creates in Kos. And next place Samos. See chapter uh, Acts chapter 20 verse 14 to 15. You can uh, see this place. So the next day we touched at same Samos. So this is the uh, uh, you know Pythagorean in Samos. So well, friends, these are the biblical sites uh, in Greece. Now uh, hope you liked it. So now we will get more details uh, about Greece from Bible, including trustworthy prophecies. So friends, uh, let's see, get into the Greece uh, and some more details I want to share with you. So Greece is identified as the fifth world power after Egypt, uh, you know, uh, Assyria, Babylon and Medo-Persia. Well, uh, um, Alexander, you know that Alexander, uh, um, young Macedonian, propelled onto the world stage, right? The Greece. So after Alexander Empire, uh, after his death, you know, his empire fragmented and began to win. Um, well, uh, uh, see, um, uh, Matthew chapter four twenty four, Mark five twenty uh, and chapter seven thirty one, words the thirty one, and you can see the word you know, decapolis, okay, uh, decapolis is uh, a, a, a word meaning is 10 cities, actually it's a, uh, as a group of 10 Hellenistic cities, okay, so uh, um, let's read Matthew 4.25, consequently large crowds follow him from Galilee, decapolis and Jerusalem, Judea and from the other side of the Jordan, see, you notice the word decapolis, Mark 5 20 reads, This man went away and started to proclaim the, uh, in the Decapolis all the things that Jesus had done for him. All the people were amazed. Well, 731 reads, When Jesus returned from the region of Tyre, he went through the Sidon to the Sea of the Galilee through the region of Decapolis. Well, um, this, uh, this region, Bible mentions several times. Uh, well, uh, so this is a, a, a history also uh, confirming uh, through the remains of theaters, amphitheaters, temples and ba baths uh, verifies existence. Okay, uh, after that, uh, you know, interesting fact about Greece, you can find it in Acts uh, chapter 17, 16. So you know that um, uh, Greece were very faithful, very religious and uh, it was full of idols so chapter 17 16 reads now while paul was waiting for them in the athens his spirit within him became irritated on seeing the city of us full of idols so they worship many words uh, well uh, see the word uh, greece plays athens you can notice here also um, so the uh, Acts seventeen twenty one you can see is a reference about the Greece. Uh, so the there you can see all the Athenians and foreigners sojourning there would spend their leisure time at nothing but telling something or listening to something new. So this is uh, the writings of Thucydides and Demosthenes attest the Athenian preoccupation with the conversation and debate. Well, that people you. You know, is to do the debate and also Acts 17:24 also confirming 
uh, well that happened and that existed um, so uh, um, see act chapter 17 18 19 um, see you can see uh, you know, uh, philosopher began disputing him uh, what his chatter would like to tell others. He seems a proclaimer of foreign deities. Uh, well, there also, you, what you can see is uh, uh, Athens has known as many philosophers, including Epicureans and Sto uh, Stoics. So, Bible specifically states the uh, Epicurean and the Stoic uh, philosopher to uh, con conversing with Paul controversially. So this um, even historians also confirming their you know this debating nature and uh, this kind of discussion really happened in, back in that time. Well after uh, interesting information uh, you can find in the Bible Acts chapter 17 23 it reads for instance while passing alone and carefully observing your objects of uh, veneration I found even an altar on which had been inscribed to an unknown God therefore what you are unknowingly worshipping this is I am declaring to you. So uh, see as you see in this picture an altar dictated to an unknown God see the uh, Greece people uh, know they uh, even they uh, placed uh, an altar if they missed any god so there I told you uh, they were very religious people and uh, um, very faithful in religious matters so uh, this reference you can see it's in the uh, bible to an unknown uh, god see the archaeology finding about the same well after that I, what I want to share you is uh, uh, interesting fact about see the statue of Ephesian goddess Athenis. Uh, then that uh, you can see in Acts chapter 19, 23 to 28. Well, um, um, then okay, let's get into the prophecy. So, uh, as I early uh, told you, so Greek. Uh, 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 about the pro same uh, prophecy about the Greek, you can find it in chapter Daniel chapter eight five to eight. So there, uh, you know, it's clearly mentioning about uh, you know after Medo Persia, uh, uh, you know, Jehovah God uh, inspired the prophet Daniel saying that after Medo Persia, uh, a new uh, kingdom will uh, uh, get emerge. See, let's read that. Look, there was a male of the goats coming from the sunset upon the surface of the whole earth. It was not touching the earth and as regards uh, the he god, there was a con conspicuous horn between its eyes and it kept coming all the way to the ram possessing the two horns and it came running towards in its powerful rage and it proceeded to strike down ram and break its in two horns. There will provide be no power to ram stand before it. So it threw it to the earth and uh, trampled it down. And the male of the god for its parts put on the great airs to an scream. But as soon as the, it became mighty, the great horn was broken. There proceeding that to come up was conspicuously four instead of it towards the four winds of heaven. So Bible accurately foretold about the Alexander the Great and the breakup of his empire. So as you the history star states that the, you know after uh, Alexander time four general uh, took over his uh, Alexander kingdom but again eventually the uh, Greece uh, succeeded as uh, couldn't retain that glory right. So uh, those who study the history they know this is a fact. Well after that what I want to uh, uh, see the uh, you know, the, the horn which you the strong horn we here mentioned is nothing but the Alexander. See this picture also you can see uh, about this prophecy. Well, well this prophecy fulfilled in very detail. See Alexander became the king in 3036 BC, and within seven years he defeated the mighty Persian king uh, Darius III. 
And thereafter, Alexander continued to expand his empire until his uh, premature death in 323 BCE at the age of 32. No single individual succeeded Alexander as absolute ru uh, ruler, nor his, uh, did any of his offering. Rather than uh, leading generals like um, Symmachus, Cassander, Seleucus, and uh, Ptolemy, uh, proclaim themselves as the king. So where you can read this uh, details in the book Hellenistic Age, the book, a uh, story based book, uh, you can read this info. Well, other, other interesting facts is that Alexander fulfilled another prophecy like, um, you know, the destruction of the city of Tyre. Say Ezekiel chapter 26, 3 to 5, to, uh, verse 12, you can read it. As well as um, chapter 27, 32, 36, you will find it. Zechariah 9, chapter 9, 3, 4, you can read. Ezekiel even wrote, uh, her stones and dust would be placed in the very midst of water. Uh, where those words fulfilled, well, Alexander fulfilled a Bible prophecy when he used to rubble off the old mainland city to tire to build a causeway to the island city. See, you look at this map. Mm. Well, uh, Alexander troops did during their siege of Tyre in 332 BC. Uh, they scrapped the ruins of the earlier mainland city of the Tyre and, and uh, you know, they constructed the survey. What happened? Uh, so prophecies against Tyre have been accomplished even uh, to the uh, minutest details. Third, 19th century explorer of the site. So this is also interesting prophecy fulfillment. Well, friends, uh, now uh, time to end this video. So so many interesting information, prophecies, uh, places, uh, archaeology findings, all uh, showing the fingers to the authenticity of the accuracy of the Bible, right? So enjoy this video. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, well, um, we'll see uh, uh, next video about the Rome. Uh, that's another world power Bible is uh, uh, sharing. Uh, let's find out uh, what Bible is saying, what exactly happened. Uh, friends, again, I'm requesting all to subscribe and watch. Thank you all very much for your valuable time. See you in our next video. Bye. Take care.